part four of my building chaperone. And it's that time of year, if you're watching this kind of live, we're getting into the Christmas season. My life is pretty busy this time of year. So I haven't gotten a lot done, but I wanna bring you up to date on where I'm at, some decisions that I've made and where I wanna go in the future. So this will be kind of a short one, but I, I think it will be interesting for all of you seeing inside my brain what I'm thinking about doing. Let me give you a close up of, of uh, some of the lighting. I've got some of it in place and some of my thoughts for where I'm going to go from here. I made an error on this support. It should be that direction, just about the width of that support. If you use wood glue, there is a little advantage. You can heat this up and sometimes pry it up without doing too much damage. There it comes. Need to heat up this a little more. There we go. There's a line here for the marking where it goes and I put it on this side, on the outside, it's supposed to be on the inside. So I'm gonna have to channel my wires over a little more and glue this back on and I'll be back in business. This placard and the related identification sheet do not match exactly. What I did is went through and marked each individual item with its part number because they're not necessarily in the same place. Probably the one that is the most off is 62A. It's over on this left-hand side, but it's not here. It's way over here on the right-hand side. All the parts did match up. You just have to go slowly one at a time and figure out exactly where they are. A lot of them are in the correct place, but a few are not. I've hooked up the lanterns on the lower deck. Walk across the way over here is actually on the inside. There's another one right behind these two windows. So when you look through the windows, you will see a light from different angles but I plan on having it dark enough in there you won't be able to see very well. I'm going to put some oh, cargo and things like that at random places around there to cover the wires and so visually if you could see in you might see some cargo boxes. I think you can see I did decide to do my own planking so I'm planking over the top of the the ship that is there. I haven't finished it you know you can see it's rough cut I've got some of my barrels in place. They're not glued in place. And this one still needs painted. I may do some more paint work on that one. I will probably put a lantern cover over the lights that are right there and add some more boxes to this side, probably. So you can see I'm, I'm well on my way. This is the staircase I mentioned earlier that I did struggle with a little bit. Um, I did get it together. The stairs, uh, they go in, you know, one little piece at a time, but it's working out. There'll be some grates here. The wiring here will be some lanterns, uh, one on each side of that staircase going up. And let's go back. If you recall in the earlier episode, I decided to do this just because I didn't like the puzzly look let me move this grand piano here and I'll talk about that in a minute. I just didn't like this look going across and even, even maybe if I could cover it with something or it didn't show that much, it was going to bother me. I'll do some tongue oil on top of this. You can see here are my lanterns homemade. I'm, I'm okay with them. I mean, obviously it's not a professional lantern by any means, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with them. You might notice in the background all those crates and boxes. I will paint those and make them look older and grungy. What I'm going for is like in the Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I want to have so many crates and packages in there. No one's hardly going to see it unless you look in 
the doors or the windows and you'll get an idea, wow, what in the world is in there? So I will do some lanterns at random places on the interior of that because it's all going to be covered up pretty well. I was tempted, I think I've changed my mind, but I've been creating some furniture, kind of fancy furniture. You can see I've got a couple of grand pianos started. I probably would keep this one, put some keys in there. Uh, I've got a couple tables. I was considering on this upper level leaving the, the backside completely open and then do a formal uh, dining room tables, fancy chairs, the grand piano, some things like that. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and, and cover it up. I will still do some of the furniture and the pianos or piano but you're only going to see it if you look through the window. So it'll be a subtle thing. I'll do some painting on that. So that's my creative side coming out. Hopefully some of you appreciate that. Something that has slowed me down is even though I thought I had a lot of this planking, I didn't realize they were two different sizes and I started using the smaller size and I got back to here and I ran out. I only needed about four more pieces. So I have that ordered. It's supposed to be here in two days. Something that I put in place that wasn't in episode three are the doors, uh, the ventilation system, windows. They're all in place now on the lower level. On the lower level, I'm darkening all the walls. You'll just see the hint of all these crates and boxes. Again, they're not painted yet. They're just awaiting my creative juices to start flowing on how I want to paint them. Then work will begin up here on the, I think it's a boiler, that'll fill in all of this area. This will conclude part four of my building the chaperone. And I will do some more work over the holiday season. However, I am going on vacation for a couple of weeks in early January. So I'll really start in earnest when I get back.